Don't you wish that the potted plant on your desk was actually useful for something? Or maybe you're just bored of always looking at the same side of that paperweight on your desk. Or perhaps you don't even have enough space left on your desk for a clock. Or just like a lot of people, you just have a really lazy goldfish. If any of the above applies to you, then you're in luck. Today we're going to invent a gizmo to turn a couple of smallish objects on your desk into a clock. Let's take, for example, a paperweight and a potted plant. So the idea is to get the paperweight to show the hours and the plant to show the minutes. And to do that, we'll simply get them to rotate, just like the hands of a clock. So basically, we're going to build small motorized lazy Susans that we will place just under these two objects so that the paperweight will make two turns per day and the plant one turn per hour. Ta-da! We've just invented the Lazy Susan clock. Now, the design is going to be very simple. I mean, there is really nothing complicated here. But there is one bit that I thought you might find exotic. We're not going to use the usual combination of stepper motors and Arduino for this. We're going to use clock movements. I mean, we are literally going to build a clock here, so... Um, and then we're just going to, well, 3D print pretty much everything else. Now the one thing to remember about these clock movements is that they are basically really low power motors. So we will do a couple of things to try and reduce any potential source of friction or stress on the rotation. First, we'll need a ball bearing to make sure that the rotation of the platform is as smooth and frictionless as possible. Secondly, we need to attach the axis of the rotating platform to the axis of the clock. And just to make sure we're not going to put any stress on the clock movement, we're going to use a type of coupler that allows for just a little bit of misalignment between these two axes. And then we're simply going to throw 3D printed plastic at it until we have something that looks good enough. It's a bit subtle, but if you look closely, uh, you'll notice that I have also added the numbers on the rim. So if you do not want to tell the time by looking at the orientation of the plant or the paperweight, then you can simply read the numbers. It takes about 24 hours and 200 grams of plastic to 3D print everything. We also need a few screws, and just to make life easier, I only used one type of screw. Now, the original hands of these clock movements have a perfect fit with the clock axis. It would be really difficult to do better with a 3D printed part. So the trick is simply to recycle these hands. We'll simply cut the branch of the hands and directly glue 3D plastic components to the remaining parts. So, if you want to build it yourself, I have uploaded all the 3D files to Thingiverse. Just follow the link in the description. So the diameter of one of these Lazy Susans is 9 cm. And the thickness is about 6 cm. Now, you should be able to put objects on them that are up to maybe half a kilogram, maybe even a bit more. Just make sure that the weight is nicely centered on the middle of the platform. All right, now let's see it in action. And that's what it looks like. Um, so if you want a pair of these, you have two options. You could either build it yourself, in which case just go to Thingiverse. You'll find all the 3D files with some fairly detailed building instructions. Or you could buy one that I made myself. Uh, just go to modoptics.c.com. Alright, that's it. Um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.